pitch, indeed they are. They are ready to get playing. Let's see if the Dino Park can stop Dread in the Serpents. Game one. And we're going to start off five minutes on the clock. The opening kickoff goes in the way slightly for the Titans. And it's just going over into the corner. He's awkward. It's going to give a right over to Hoisty, which is going to give us the opening goal in game number one. Hi, Pans. We talked a lot about Dread. We didn't really talk about Hoisty with the scoring prowess, but he takes advantage of the open net. Taipan's up early. Eight seconds down, 4.52 left to go. So we got a long ways to go, Ty, and that's gonna absolutely start us out here early. For sure. Lots of trying to get something for them going on offense. Uh, let's see if they can maintain possession in any way. And the offense is coming through. That was a shooting opportunity, turns wide. Uh, that uh, Zora left in the backfield. Now we're looking at Zora with the control. Gonna have to win the 50. No, it's given up over to Steez. Steez gives it up over to Hoisty. Hoisty over to Dread. Dread high up in the air, tries to get the second touch, cannot. And Steez gonna give it right over down to Hoisty, which Zora is gonna whiff on the sidewall. Snuggles looking for the net. He had a teammate coming up from behind. And Awkward is not going to make the touch until Steez is going to make the touch here. But give him right over to Dread. Dread looks for the net, gets turned away. And there's a lot of opening chances here, Ty, but a lot of them not being taken by either one of these teams. Yeah, for sure, Xander. I mean, both teams are just feeling, feeling themselves out. It's early. It's a stream match. I don't care what people say. There's always just a little bit more nerves in a stream match. Um, but I love what the Taipans are doing early. A lot of team interchange, a lot of uh, play back and forth. But the last Raptors not content to sit in their own half as he's awkward, gets a nice shot on net. But, um, yeah, I would say not too many shots are threatening past Hoist's open net goal. You know, a lot of chances, maybe not as much speed or precision on the shots that will ultimately be the defense later on in this game. I do like that the shooting right now is in the favor of the Titans. They've got, I believe, five compared to the three of the uh, Velociraptors have been putting up here. But that's a shooting opportunity looking low for Dread. It's a wide open net. Can you get the second touch? It's no. going to float near the net, but not going to go in. Steve, that's very unfortunate. Unfortunate there. Extremely they... unfortunate. Steez was mirroring the ball all the way across the face of the net. He was inches away. He needed some type of boost. He needed one boost. He had zero. And just uh, the equalizer goes just in front of the net, not able to convert. You want to convert, and you want to convert as quickly as you possibly can. We're slowly approaching the halftime marker. Oh, that's a double whiff. That's a wide open netching opportunity. Nuggles is going to have to get back. Wow, that you have to hustle back like that when you have somebody trying to commit up and then you don't have the opportunity to get it back. But now they're looking for their own opportunity and nearly gets a pass with Snuggles as well as gets the demo. And the possession is given right over to the team in blue, the Velociraptors, but does get denied in the corner by Hoisey. Yeah, good back and forth play. Both teams being real aggressive, even if they're not converting yet. You'd have to imagine one goal won't be able to win this first game. Two might, though. And Dredd gets his team on the board, doubles the lead. I like this one by Dredd. He takes his time so sneakily. And then it's just a little floater. A double fake or whiff, as I like to call them. It's a, it's a, just a, it's a coin term. I just like to call them <laughs> little fakes. Yeah, he's awkward, kind of lived up to his namesake there. Let Dread get into the middle, and uh, from there, it was just a just a tough play overall. But a lot of credit to Dread for the car control to get that final touch. Oh, this is a wide open chance. That Hoisty does commit on the save. Can I get this one through? No, oh, a be better save by Dread. What a player on the pitch here tonight. He's offense and defense, and right now it's Hoisty looking for the chance, but does get denied there by him. Absolutely, Dread playing both ends of the field excellently here in game one. He's trying to send his team to the playoffs right here tonight. And um, great read off of just an excellent team play from the Velociraptors. They just cannot catch a break here in game one. Yeah, you would like to have a break sooner than later, especially when you're down by two with only 60 seconds left on the clock. And there might be a shooting opportunity. Goes low, open net for Dread. And now it's three. 
Yeah, Hoisey, nice 50 here off the wall. He's able to just push it towards the Velociraptor net. He's awkward, no fault of his own. Tough bounce, but Dredd is the first one to read it. Slides it past the defender. Might be the uh, might be the exclamation point here in this first game. I feel the nail in the coffin, indeed. But maybe they can look for another opportunity with he's awkward. Let's get to control, gets the second touch. Can he get the final one? No, but he's out of boost as well. D's just gonna let this one float over towards the side while giving up over to his Snuggles, which is gonna give it right over to Zora. Zora being very strong in the midfield, but noticing that all game. But now it's Dread over to Zora, and Zora just gonna lose out on that 50 off the back. But it's a low, high floater. Can I be touched? Oh, Can no. I be touched by a player in blue? No, I cannot until Dread is there to make the save. That was the opportunity to get it down to two, but certainly this one in game one looks all over here. And the yep. Typhoon is going to take game one in great, incredible fashion. For sure. There's no three point shots in Rocket League, and this one is over. The Taipans. At times they were dominating, but what really mattered is they converted the shots. They got one more for just good measure. That's just great team play. They're getting Zora involved, getting him on the board, getting in some more points. Uh, but Dread, Hoisey, and Zora, just an overall comprehensive effort, 4-0. Yeah, Dread's just trying to stat or pack the stat line right there. He had to get oh, the yeah. hat trick. He had I to mean, get he, the hat trick. He knows we're getting towards the end of the regular season, you know. We do give out some awards here at RSC for, you know, most goals, most, well, maybe not for him, assists, but goals and saves and shots, he's up there. And so, you know, hat trick already, savior, three saves in the first game. But uh, Velociraptors are worried about more than just individual stats. Their season is pretty much on the line here tonight. They've got to really come back and get these next three. I believe you were talking about the Taipans only need three games to secure into the playoffs. I think the Taipans, well, now they need two, and but the Velociraptors are, with that loss, um, they creep a little bit back closer to 500, but they, they will need to at least get a couple out of this series to keep their serious playoff hopes alive. Yeah, you got three more games left to go. You'd like to at least win one of those, if not the rest of them, We're trying to make this upset chance out of the four games. But you cannot let Dredd do exactly what he wants to do. You close him down, you get on top of him early, and that will finish it completely. All you got to do is stop one man, and then you cut off the snake head. <laughs> All you got left is Hoisey and Zora, which are still great players, but not as strong as Dredd has been playing this entire season. I see what you did. Snakehead, Taipans, <laughs> their franchises, the Serpents. Oh, I wasn't trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard it. Well, I guess he's a player to dread if you're a, an opposing defender here in the minor tier. But, uh, Boomy. Anyway. Oh, good bump play early. Sora, oh, he gets his first goal of the series. Oh, that's that's really nice, Sora. You end up whiffing the boost, though. But certainly the nice bump there, I believe it was... Yeah, it was dread. dread. Of course, yep. it was dread. Yep, that's the. Uh, who, uh, it's pretty, who else would it be? Pretty much the only thing he hasn't done so far is an offensive uh, bump play, and he got that checked off the list right there. If the uh, Velociraptors were looking for early momentum. The Taipans were just not having it here at the beginning of game two. Oh, momentum, momentum. Who needs momentum? Oh, I know. The Velociraptors need momentum. And right now, they might be trying to get it. It's a great redirect, but he's awkward goes wide off the shot and snuggles great pass into the middle but now over into the corner snuggles is just gonna back off and that was he's gonna challenge in for that one and now it's he's awkward gonna go in for the challenge once again off the backboard because they get the read no they cannot snuggles that's a very oh, no. unfortunate and that's gonna turn around and give Poise and the typhons their second Absolutely. I mean, that's a tough read for Snuggles. You have to anticipate someone missing it and being in that spot. But it just kind of the way this has gone so far for the Velociraptors, they have plenty of time. We know that they're a solid team. They're above 500. They're a playoff contender. They just have to get I think they have to just get one thing going their way, Xander. They'll get the confidence they need to get back in this series. Their confidence does help, but also so does touching the ball when it matters. And they've had a lot of times where it's mattered the most, but that oh, might be a chance right. right there. Great save by Hoisey. 
but maybe they can still continue on this offensive possession. Snuggles keeps the possession, but gives it right over to Zora. Zora still gives it up over to He's Awkward. Hoisty has to knock it away into the corner. Good smart play by him, and now Dread is on top of the ball like a dog. He is there every single time you want him there, and the shots are coming through. They are turning wide, though, but a two-goal lead, and you're not only 95 seconds into second game. You're looking pretty hot at the moment. Absolutely, but you know what? I think the Velociraptors look a lot sharper here in game two. They've got a lot more possession. They've actually had some really good chances on net. You know, eventually the defense of the Taipans will crack a little bit. And we'll see if that's enough of an opening. But uh, it's got to happen at some point. Eventually they're going to have to crack the egg open. And it's you're going to have to have the yolk. Or the yolk. Uh, the what? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the yolk. Uh, you must be yoking with me right now. <laughs> oh, no. What did I, what did I start? Uh, Oh, oh that's but great. that was a great game. We're trying the to great, get him back. <laughs> wonderful opportunity just goes wide. Ball sliding in front of net, but no Velociraptor there to convert. So. Uh, right now we're looking at the Velociraptors with an opportunity. Zara does knock it away. Up to Steezy. Down to Snuggles. A shooting opportunity goes wide over into the corner. It's awkward for Steezy. And now he just sends it coast to coast over to Dread. It's going to be a low one. A little bit awkward though, still for he's awkward. Three. Over to the corner, maybe for the bump play. It's a good center. Does get the double bump, but does not Great do idea any for the harm. Bump. Great maybe. idea for the bump play, but the third guy just wasn't there to convert. Yeah, you. It really does help when you have somebody really working, but this maybe get a chance. Dread, of course, not gonna let anything into the back of that net it they may be trying to look for the full clean sweep no goals no nothing on the board for the velociraptors well they're on their way now minute 30 left but man the velociraptors they're setting up so many great plays it's just that final touch that final shot just isn't quite there not enough speed or not in the right spot they keep it up though they'll, they'll finally convert I, ho I hope they will that's exactly what we're wanting them to do at least give us some sort of show not just give us the taipans and the dread show because we could be running that all week and it would be on reruns constantly there it is hey, uh, th there it is uh, you called it so he's awkward does get the first one in in this series for the velociraptors and i think that's going to open up a lot for them that you know enough pressure over enough time with enough passes and shots and eventually the taipans let one in we'll see if the velociraptors can use that to just keep peppering the net so got a full minute left might be able to tie this series oh. right away steez with the tie shot the kickoff it's very a little bit awkward but steezy does read it to the dime and he goes for the bounce shot which makes it a little bit more awkward for the defense off the perfect. kickoff perfect, perfect. place no doubt about it and and how many times have we seen the velociraptors just run right by balls flying up in the air they're just mistiming shots and they finally connect them good to see certainly is the 45 seconds left on the clock that's a shot and dread gonna get the go-ahead goal with not a lot of time left on the clock yeah, miscommunication here. Just two guys in the corner. Steez passes it forward. That pass was just probably trying to get it more towards the wall. But Dread makes no mistake on the open net. Dread, I think you're trying to make the Velociraptors dead right now because that's all you would like for them. You take a nice big old chunk with those fangs that you got as... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I I don't know. These things just come to the, my little snake mind at the moment. Maybe I'm just squeezing them out of you. Yeah. yeah this is a constricting <laughs> experience. <laughs> anyway, he's awkward. Oh, that's a good idea. But Snuggle's not able to turn around in time. Still time if Velociraptors can get the ball back. But it's got to happen right now. Ten seconds left. It certainly does. They do get the possession though, but it's straight over to Dread on the clear. He's awkward, does win out on the 50. Three seconds remaining on the clock. Can they get this one all the way down the pitch? Steezy Ten. does get the touch. He's looking at this one, does drop oh. it down, and Typhons take game number two. Three to two, in fact.
Nice play there from Zora at the end. He doesn't panic. He sees a little bit of space in front of his car, just calmly drops it to the floor, ends it. I think that that's a very underrated play from Zora, and he's been good in transition and on defense all series long. Looks like we are going to have a sub for the Velociraptors. Looks like we are probably going to see uh, Tidal or T Vidal. We will see, and because he, he will join the lobby momentarily. But yeah, I mean, the Velociraptors really showed up in game two, but unable to convert. And at the end of the day, a loss is a loss. So they really need these last two. Certainly do, and I believe it's Tweedle. I think the double Tweedle. V, the, the the double V makes a W. Okay, but well, okay. On the roster thing, it says T V V. So you know, maybe yeah. maybe I'm only a little illiterate. Yeah, I, I checked with production, which is Huds uh, in the back. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I see someone in the chat saying Tweedle. Yeah, okay, fine. Call him Tweedle. Tweedle D, Tweedle. Well, Tweedle yeah. scores again. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. He does have a great shooting percentage, though. If I remember looking at the stats, he's got like a 40. He's got a 48% shooting percentage, even though he's he only does. played 11 games. He's got limited playing time, like you said, but he, you know, 12 goals in 11 games. That's nothing to overlook. Uh, you know, a half dozen assists, a pretty decent amount of saves as well. You know, when he, he hasn't played a ton, but when he has played, he's contributed a whole bunch to the Velociraptors and he's going to look to help them turn this series around. And uh, for their sake, you know, hopefully they can uh, get a few games back, really give themselves a shot heading into this final match day. Um grab one of those last wild card spots looks like he has t Vidal or tweedle as he's actually known has joined the th lobby so we will get this going here in just a moment i'm really just looking at this one nobody's even close to where dread is at so actually no hoisty hoisty finally showed up a little bit more in that game he got the three saves off the one shot and the goal so it was good to see that everybody on the Typhon's team got credited with something. But now we're looking at game number three. The Typhons are up 2-0 in the series. So it's not looking very hot for the Velociraptors. But it does start off with the Typhons in control. Long clear down to the opposite end. Where Zora is going to make the touch out of the clear. It's a shot on net. Dread does turn that one away. And once again, it's just a long clears coming out. As soon as you gain possession, you do not want to have it for very long. Yeah, yeah, that, that does seem, the, the Velociraptors do sometimes seem, oh, never mind any criticism. Quick goal here. Tweedle gets involved right away. Yeah, you see that pass. It's just a little one, though, but it does a lot of effort right over to Steezy. It's the first goal, so that's a great way to start it off, especially when you've been down the last two games. Oh, absolutely. It's their first lead of the series, and it might not sound like a ton, but that's huge for their confidence. They get a sub in. They're starting to believe and see how they play on defense because uh, I don't believe one goal will be enough to beat the Taipans in any game in the series. Oh, but this is a uh, way overcommit. Hoisey does have to race back to defend the net. Good center pass. pass over to Steezy, or from Steezy, excuse me. And now Hoisey with the chance, gonna be late to that one. Dread sends it all the way back down to Zoro in the corner. Zoro does make the clear down off the, into the blue corner now. Loses out on the 52, he's awkward. He's been strong on the 50s all night long. And now we see the sub come in for Tweedle. It just, it, it's looking, like it's looking pretty good from the Velociraptors. The chances for the Typhons have not been to the execution that we've seen the last two games. Yeah, for sure. The Velociraptors are turning the possession advantage they had in game two into actual chances. Oh my goodness. Shot of the series from Dread off the long bomb from Boise. Let's just watch this and appreciate it. Oh, that, oh, that's, uh, what yeah, a. You, <laughs> What a redirect from Dread! Oh my goodness, just the car control to hit that down perfect speed. I don't even think it hit the floor. It was that it was aimed that perfectly. Yeah, and I've been noticing in chat that Trippin's been very disappointed now, but never mind that. It's immediate tweedle. response. <laughs> yeah, immediate. 
Tweedle does get this one synced into the back of the net. Nice speed and placement from Tweedle. Beats hoisting near post. Quick response from an amazing goal. That's a great, great job from the Velociraptors to not let that get to them. Over three minutes now yet to be played. We have a current lead here by the Velociraptors with another shooting chance. Goes way wide of the net and now high up in the sky is Steezy. Looking for, he's awkward, but he does back off. The Tweedle gonna go in for the challenge. Now Zora, a little bit awkward here. Goes low, goes high for he's awkward, but nowhere to make contact with the ball. It's a good dunk by Steezy. Keeps on the pressure. Absolutely, right, that, was go that was gonna be a big shot for the Taipans otherwise. Okay, oh, okay, he's awkward. Yeah, you're gonna get the third one going and put yourself up by two. Good positioning and Tweedle with the heads up play running into the net, forcing Dread into the back part of the goal, leaving that whole far side open. Tweedle makes, or uh, he's awkward, makes no mistake. I've been making a lot of mistakes so far in this series. It's just been not the coordination between the rest of the team, but that's not very good right now. The double commit, drop down pass, does get the clear up, but straight to Dread. Another double commit for the save. Always see a little bit too far behind. Gonna be late to that challenge. Dread still flipping back to his own. And Zora gets demoed for his efforts. And now Tweedle looking for his own opportunity off the backboard. No runs out of boost. Easy in for the challenge. Gonna give it up over to Zora, which is now gonna come in by a challenge, but he's awkward. One just gonna roll down the sideline, and now with two minutes left on the clock, it's a good heavy lead here by the Raptors, but certainly not gonna be safe against this strong of a Titans team. No, you know they're not gonna play perfect defense. They're gonna let something in at some point. So they've gotta press. They can't just sit in front of their own net. They really have to go for that fourth goal, in my opinion. Three goals is definitely way safer than two, and especially since they are up by more than one, it looks even safer. But right now, the communication looks to be a little bit off here, but that's a good bump by Steezy. It does open up some space, but Zora gonna be there for oh. good demo, and Horsey gonna get this one down to one. All three Taipans getting involved in just an excellent team goal. Zora off the side, Horsey towards the net. Dread seeking and finding the defender, blowing him up. And uh, yeah, just great play to get themselves back in this one. Like, I don't know, did the defender have like some sort of like little flute to summon the serpents right now? Cause that's really what's happening. They're being attracted with some sort of sound and it's not looking the strongest currently, but the challenges are still coming through. That's a chance on net, but gonna just go over to the orange corner of the typhoon. That was such a wide shot. It actually helped them keep possession. Have another shot here from Awkward. Just looking at this one. 55 ticks left on the clock. They have a shooting opportunity. It's a good centering pass by Tweedle. Nobody from the Raptors there to make contact. Steezy still keeps on it. Out of boost. Goes for the pre-flip. Looking for the dunk on Dread, but not going to get it. It's a good pinch by Dredd. Tweedle the only one left in the backfield. Has a little bit of boost in the tank, looking for the shield, ceiling opportunity. And now Zora, good touch by that man. Oh, nearly gets a pass. He's awkward to get this one tied up. But we're still holding strong with the last few seconds, dwindling off the clock. Good close down defense from he's awkward, but it's probably going to be one more shot here for the tight ends. Yeah, 12 seconds left on the clock. They're in the offensive half of the field. It's gonna be a clear out of the blue zone. Hoisty has to take it all the way down the entire length of the net. It's a good clear. Clock is down to zero. It's gonna uh, bounce in. The Velociraptors take game number three. And now they're within one to tie the series up. Absolutely, we're gonna play this fourth game and uh, the Velociraptors have just looked better and better each game this series. Taipans are, uh, they played fine in game three. They just let up a few too many shots, just a little bit of uh, missed saves in net. Um, and the Velociraptors, they're just looking better and better and better. Um, that that uh, that sub bringing in Tweedle seemed to be the right move. You know, he's the MVP of the game. He was involved in seemingly everything, but just a good effort all around. Tweedle, certainly. He was involved in at least two of the goals that were scored. He's got two assists credited to him. 
four shots, one save, and then the one goal. So it's certainly not too shabby, but yeah, still looking at Dredd. He got the four saves, the one goal, and the two shots. So not too bad for him. Would like to see a little bit more of my ball, my ball, my ball. Give it up to some of your players. You've been seeing that Hoisey and Zora have been giving you the opportunities. And if you do the one two one passing play, it will work out in the end. And you guys can put so much speed behind your shots. No doubt about it. You'd like to see. We have seen the Velociraptors respond when their backs are against the wall. But we haven't seen the Taipans really do that when they suffer some type of setbacks. Let's see what they can do here in game four. This will also be a huge test for them in the playoffs. Because in the playoffs, you are going to fail. You're going to mess up. And the team that moves on is generally the one that can come back from a failure. And so let's see what they can do. Early possession, though, here for the Titans. You don't normally see success until you fail a few more times. And right now, the Velociraptors are not afraid of failure because they have found success in the third game. But they're trying to look for it again in the fourth. Currently, they are in possession of the ball. Easy, gonna run out of boost though. It's a shooting opportunity, Dread way too soft. There's an easy clear out by Heath Awkward. Does go into the midfield. It's easy, good redirect, good pass. Looking for the shot, does not go anywhere on target. Hoisty looking for the down, it's a wide open, and that's a great opening goal here for the Titans. Absolutely excellent goal here. Zora popping it up high where only Hoisty can get it. Hoisty beats Steez to the ball and uh, just slots it. Far side from halfway across the field near the ceiling. Great car control there. Really been noticing a lot. These players have gotten way better at their car control since the last time I saw them, and that was only a week ago. So certainly the Typhons, you've looked even stronger than what you were pulling off last week. I forget who you guys who you guys were playing against, but certainly it was a very strong effort. For sure. You know, that's part of the fun of being in a league like RSC is that you get to improve with your teammates over the course of a relatively long season. You know, you get to do those passing plays you didn't quite get when you first met. And that is another <laughs> solid one. Hoisey to Zora doubling the lead. Oh, yeah, Hoisey. All you do is it's that was awkward, actually, but yeah. he's awkward. <laughs> you could not do anything about that one. It well, was I mean, rocketed right at your car. I mean, it hit, yeah, I mean, that's just a tough play all around. Honestly, if Awkward isn't there, I'm pretty sure the ball takes the same bounce off the wall and the same play happens. So I don't really think he did any harm to his team on that one. Oh, I'm wondering if he would have actually took in, taken the flip out. He might have had a chance. But right now, it's back in the possession for the type. The shooting opportunity Ooh. does get knocked away. It'd be game fading there. 3 0 lead. It'd be a tough one. Certainly will be with 310 left on the clock. Wheel takes the possession, loses out on the 50 to Dread, and Dread gonna go up in the air. He's awkward, gonna beat him up there. Boise, good pass into the middle, looking low. He's awkward, gonna go in for the save once again. He's already got the savior medal. Absolutely, that was a great read from He's awkward. He saw that team play developing, and he was not fooled. I'm looking at this one. The Velociraptors, they have the opportunities. They're losing out on them, though. It's Zora and mostly Dread in the backfield that's making the saves, making the stops, not really allowing them to get too far into the net before they finally get the block out, and then they get the counterattack going very quickly. Yeah, it's starting to feel a little bit like game two, where the Velociraptors have possession and they have opportunities, but they're not quite able to get that finishing touch whereas the Taipans are taking advantage of every opportunity. Might have another one here. I'm looking at this one. He's awkward, does take his time, waits for the whiff to come out from the Taipans player. He's awkward, good centering pass. Steezy, a little bit too far off the box. Got Tweedle to beat out, but just ricochets off the backboard. Tweedle looking for the redirect. Nice touch, Zora. Good passing play over to Dredd. Can he get this one back over into the middle? He 50s with his own teammate, and all three type in players are pushed up. And now they're all retreating back into their own half of the field. But now they're looking for their own counterattack over to Zora. Does get demoed, and that's going to restart the offense for the Typhons. Once again, but they retain possession for a little bit. Velociraptors, though, with the chance of their own. 
they've got to convert something here in the next 30, 45 seconds. Otherwise, you're basically hoping for something in a kickoff goal. Right now, we're looking at Hoisey, the control, but does send it all the way towards Steezy. Tweedle up in the air, outbeat Zora. Zora's been very quick up in the air, but does end up losing out on that one. That's a demo coming out. Space available to the Raptors. Gonna be an unfortunate 50. Does go towards net off the crossbar. DZ does get the clear out. Has no boost though. Has to use the flip. That's a double commit. Nobody's there to follow this one up. And that was the dire chance. And that one might be all over if they can secure this one. No, it does get turned away. The offense is still here looking for the net. DZ looking for the counter attack. Can they pull this one off with the 1v1? Brings it over to the wall. Centering pass, no, oh, blocked no. away by Hoisey. The defense is strong by the Titans. Hoisey winning that 1v2. Oh, no. Not yet though. Oh. Awkward does convert after that uh, that botch play a few seconds earlier. Nice job sticking with the offense there. Weird bounce, but hey, you know what? He was the first one to read it. He gets rewarded. 20 seconds, anything can happen. Anything indeed can happen. Absolutely 20 seconds left on the clock. At the kickoff now, gonna go neutral off the side. Boise makes the control touch. Gonna go center though. Steezy has the 50 with him and does win it outright. Steezy from awkward does get knocked away into the corner. He's awkward, gonna knock this one straight up into the air. A few seconds remaining on the clock. Can they send this one to overtime? No, it's gonna touch down. The Titans gonna take the series three to one. They will de indeed do that there. Xander, a great effort from the Velociraptors, especially in games two through four, but only one to show for.